Female anemia may be caused by uterine fibroids. Anemia is experienced by most women when there are menstrual disorders, heavy menstrual blood, and prolonged menstrual periods, which lead to anemia. You should be alert that you may have uterine fibroids. Uterine fibroids, also known as uterine leiomyomas, are the most common benign tumors of the female genitalia. Most of them are asymptomatic, and if you have vaginal bleeding, bumps on their abdomen, and symptoms of compression, such as pedicle twist or other conditions that can cause pain. Multiple uterine fibroids are common, which grow in any part of the uterus and are composed of smooth muscle and fibrous connective tissue. According to surveys, about 2-0% of women over 3-5 have uterine fibroids. Uterine bleeding is one of the symptoms of uterine fibroids and occurs in half or more patients with uterine fibroids. Patients with uterine fibroids who bleed for a long time without timely treatment can develop anemia. Due to the heavy menstrual flow and long time, more than 40% of the anemia is caused. The only serious ones are blood transfusions to maintain the basic needs of the body. Some patients with uterine fibroids are delayed to the end had to remove the uterus. According to reports, the most common clinical phenomenon of uterine fibroids is mainly uterine bleeding. The causes of bleeding are as follows. 1. Irregular menstruation during menopause. 2. Uterine fibroids can be combined with pelvic congestion, which makes the blood flow vigorous and large. 3. Uterine fibroids increase the size of the uterus increase the endometrial area, excessive bleeding, and bleeding for too long. 4. Patients with uterine fibroids often merge with endometrial proliferation and polyps due to high estrogen, resulting in excessive menstrual hours. 5. Intramural uterine fibroids affect uterine contraction and compression of blood vessels or submucosal uterine fibroids peel off the endometrium and cannot contract by themselves, all of which cause more bleeding and prolonged duration. 6. Submucosal uterine fibroids often ulcerate and necrosis on the mucosal surface, leading to chronic endometritis and causing dripping and continuous bleeding.